Here with the great Seal Barry, and uh, there was a great moment earlier, Seal, in UCLA's post-game presser when Corey singled you out. What did that moment mean to you? Oh, uh, somebody uh, was talking about International Women's Day, and Corey uh, mentioned my name as a mentor and a leader back when she was a young coach. Uh, I coached against Corey when she was at Santa Barbara. She was a great point guard. We couldn't stop her, <laughs> uh, but it meant a lot, you know, to. I heard her even recognize me, you know, remember who I was. Corey's like that, though. She always remembers and acknowledges people that come before her. Mary Murphy wanted me to ask you how you survived coaching while being one of the nicest people in the world. <laughs> you know, coaching isn't really, you know, that nice guys finish yeah. last. It's not one of those professions. As a matter of fact, when I got into coaching, my dad said, I don't know, you're not, you're not mean enough. And I was like, well, what's he talking about? <laughs> and then about 10 years later, I understood what he said. You have to have courage to, be, to, to make the hard call, tough call. Sometimes a coach has to be courageous and go against the flow and make a difficult call. And it forces you to mature. And um, for that, I appreciate having that opportunity to grow up a little bit. So let's talk about your experience coaching. You've now been in administration for Colorado forever. How do those two, you know, kind of doing everything, how does that influence your perspective now on the selection committee for the NCAA? Well, you know, being a longtime coach, 28 years Division I, and then being 14 years in administration, nobody does that. Who does that? <laughs> nobody goes into administration. Um, I was fortunate that the University of Colorado let me hang around, and then even more for fortunate to be selected to be on this committee because it's about basketball. And what you do is watch games. I watched 65 games in, in February. Um, it gives me the perspective of how difficult it is and how important it is to the team, the coach, the students uh, to be selected. When their names are called, when your school is called on ESPN and they announce you, it is a big deal. So we have to get it right. You, you can't slip up. So I think I feel for those that don't get in, I feel for the last one in, and I feel for the bracket. How's that bracket set up? Because your matchup determines how far you're going to go. Well, see, as always, fantastic to see you. Thanks for I the time, and uh, good luck selecting those 64 teams. I don't envy you at all. I'll be on. I'll get my rest.